I had to throw in some mountain views this morning. One of the old nicknames for Montana has been Land of the Shining Mountains. Check that out. They're pink. Pull them in. Right there is Snowshoe Peak. It's just under 9,000 feet. That's the highest peak in northwest Montana outside of Glacier Park. But look at this. Jeff here, he just got to work. He's got to look at this stuff all day long. Every day you got to work in this stuff. What do you think, Jeff? Oh, it's beautiful, man. We've got some great scenery here. Mountains are beautiful. I love it. So the boys are getting here, getting started out here. And Jeff, you know what else? The, the, the new crane over here, they're starting it right now. Are they? Good. Yeah. Good deal. It's the first time. That's going to be a plus. It'll be so great. That'll be great. Now I got plows in the foreground, but no snow right now. I just had to take a picture of those mountains. Hey guys, it's a couple hours later. The sun's up now, warm or warmer. And let's check out and see how far they've come on this uh, trout creek behind me here since this morning and then how the new crane's coming along with the reassembly of the second floor of the Swiss Chalet. Like I said this morning, the brand new crane, first day in use. It looks like they put a couple more rows of logs on. sure Philip is counting right 5L 5 means the number of the row 5 1 2 3 4 5 L is the, from ABC it's the number L log on the row L M 5 M so this yeah starts a we just start over in that corner over there right Philip does a start like over there so a starts there a B, C, D, E, F, G, H, like that goes around. So we're at M. So the number is the layer from the ground up. One, two, three, four, five. And the M is from the corner going around clockwise from the inside. Every number reads from the inside. So every log has a number and a letter. So this is going well. This is day two. And here is the Swiss Chalet. This is the open beam with the glass gable with the big glass windows up here open uh, to below and the top part, uh, the loft up here. A pro, Andy. Not With that motorcycle helmet on. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. So right here are the hooks that hook the logs.
Bring up, pick up a log, show us how that thing works. Pick up a what? A log to oh, see how that works. Ready? Not quite ready yet. So what do you say so far, Jesse? Is it, is it uh, working okay? It's a little slower. We're all right on the speeds. Let me back away where I can hear myself think. I don't know if you can hear, but that's the first day of the crane. He said it's a little slower than he likes. We can adjust the speed a little bit, but uh, and it'll also be better when we get the remote control. Right now, it's just a pendant on a cable to control it. And then, of course, there's what's happening here: the rancher, Chalk Creek Rancher, and the Swiss Chalet. So that's what's happening today. And yeah, that's pretty fun to see them use that new crane. This is day three on the Trout Creek single level and this is the uh, second morning, day two of the top floor of the Swiss Chalet. This is also the second day of running that yellow overhead crane. I talked to them last night, they really like it. It's really, really nice. Andy, how are you guys liking the crane? We're good. Yeah, it's the sweet crane. Yeah, that's that was a pretty good day getting that up up getting that much up in one day. Yeah, it's going it's going it's a lot more efficient. Uh, yeah, it sure will. Now we got one operator so far, but once the remote, once you have the remote controls, you can get the same person can run it that's yeah, hooking the logs. Once we have the wireless remote instead of the pending remote, it'll be a lot nicer. Uh, a lot quicker. Yeah, it's definitely a lot quicker. So Jethro runs that remote off the cable. It's got a decent travel. Travel speed's pretty smooth. That was good progress on this one. Let's have a look over here at the Trout Creek. This is the great room here. The glass. The raft will be above me here. Bathrooms in the back, and a guest bat, uh, guest bedroom, and a master bedroom.
Swiss Chalet top story. So he's going to cut that uh, angle, the gable off. So you got the double wrap handle in that one, huh? Yeah, we use this as a gable saw. You like the double handle there? Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, wrap, yeah. Cool. Uh, Oh, <laughs> 
That's how the gables were cut off, those angled parts of the roof right there. And the slots to put lumber in right there. And notches to put purlins in there. Hey, Eric, talk to us about what you got here. This is the top of the trout tree, right? Yeah, we're working on uh, top story now. We're doing, uh, we've got gable, 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 and two rafters here. This will be a round rafter. This will be a house rafter over here in the front of the house. Working on the flats now for our post here in the center. Our rafters coming down to the flats. Everything should be perfectly level both ways. That way our post sits nice and square. And we always say top story, but there really is no top story. It's just, uh, it's, it's a single, sing level yeah, single level, but it's the top, the gable part, as Eric is saying, got the, the peaked, uh, the trusses, the, the glass in that area of the great room. This, you're standing in the great room, that whole yep. open area yep. with glass out that way and this beautiful truss in this area. So it is a single level, but this is the top, uh, gable part and the wing. A bedroom wing going out there and a bedroom wing going out here. I know Eric can't hold himself back. He's trying to make some noise. So go ahead. We're done. But that's what's happening. <laughs>